She generates a lot of really good ideas for student interaction, for taking science into the community, for um, developing courses and things like that. So to interact with her on a colleague level is fantastic. She's always got a way of doing things. And nothing is, there is problems, but she turns them into challenges. And that's a thing I really admire about uh, my experience of working with Tabella all these years. One thing I started when I arrived here was that schools in the township don't have equipment, and we have equipment sitting at roads, not being used. Um, so I started a program whereby we could donate that equipment to the school so at least they can have a few things to work with. And then also sometimes the, the, the matriculants in particular from schools can come into our labs and use them because it helps them have a touch of science. Science is not a theoretical question, it's a practical subject. And if you cannot do practice, you will never understand what is, what is happening. Does anybody know what a solution is? The Medicine Science Club was formed about a few years ago. Um, I think it's six. I, I don't get my numbers very correctly. I, I was not the initial person to be involved. Somebody from the museum put us together to say they think there's a need uh, for this type of thing. We so know that um, the education that the children are getting these days is really poor in math and science. The teachers are not qualified. The teachers are not motivated. Um, yeah, and there's no equipment in the schools and so on. And it's because we love maths and science that we want someone else to love maths and science too and give them an extra opportunity that they might not get since any other time. We, we can teach them about acids and bases. The fact that vinegar is an, ac is, 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 is an acid, something else is a base. We teach them about just simple things on everyday life. We also make them make things, make a soap and take it home make bath salts and take them home, make a doorbell and take it home. You know, so the parents can see that they are not wasting time, they are learning how to make. It's very important in science to use your hands, to use your brain, to be able to make things. Science is not a theoretical subject, it's a practical subject. So we make them realize that their everyday life is about learning. I think it, it can be okay. I think a great travesty in South Africa and probably around the world is that our very best people don't not necessarily go into teaching and um, for a number of reasons reward and remuneration probably been the major one but we need really good science teachers in the school we need people with passion we need people that can inspire and can ignite enthusiasm amongst uh, the kids and if we have that kind of um, idea that science is actually fun and that uh, one can use one's mind to create. I think people think science is not creative. Science is hugely creative. Children must be made to realize that science is everyday life. Not just children, all of us have to realize that science is everyday life. And also, we need to realize that it's not about it's always the bad things that come out about, particularly chemicals and so on. But chemicals are us. We are all a bunch of molecules. Everything we have has a chemical in it. The air we breathe, the water we drink, the sugar, is lots of chemicals in everything we do. Children must begin to realize that they are interacting with something that is real. It's not abstract. It's not away from their everyday life. This is clear water.